Hey, what's up, guys? Here we are in another video. And today's video, as you could see, level 69, I have completed the Pixel Pass. An upcoming video will be the Springy Shotgun. But I completed all the Elite Tier Challenges. Huh. I've completed the team fight, defeat 75 enemies with Usher Weapon. The deathmatch, score 85,000 points, get level 69 pixel pass level, win 3 matches in a row, using only legendary weapons, no pets, no gadgets. And the last elite tier challenge was win 40 matches in total. So I have completed all the pixel pass challenges and I brought you this video on the clockwork guardian. Which has a fire rate of 68, capacity 9, mobility 65, wall break, shields penetration, and target mark. Wall break and target mark. Ain't no way. And this also came with the merry-go-round horse and the clock or Catherine. Now, we'll see if this is any better than the last elite tier sniper we had, which was the Dreams Warden, which has a fire rate of 60, this one has 68, this one has 9, fire rate, uh, really, yeah, they're pretty much the same. This has x and wall break, this has wall break and target mark, this has shields penetration, and this has barrier and blindness so they're a little sim similar they, they are similar one shot headshot and a one shot body shot and it has a unique scope which is really cool because all every sniper the developers are just reusing um, the scopes for every weapon yeah, this is copy and paste. So it is nice to see a new, a new scope. And the last new scopes we had were in the lottery weapons. The Kubrick villain set for the primary and uh, sniper. Now this does have wall break. So that was a headshot. It did that much damage. So it is a two shot. What about a body shot? A two shot with wall break? Okay, that's actually not that bad. I was expecting it to be like a like a three shot body shot. I think the James Warden is a three shot body shot. It might have been before this thing was nerfed. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it is a two shot. Okay. Okay, so I think they do have similar damage, but we'll see if this is any better. Alright, let's jump into a match. The Ar Arabian Dust. <clears throat> okay, that's a good fire rate. 68, not bad. Pretty close to 70. Oh. Oh, okay, one shot of that guy. Oh, whoa, oh, okay. Very good. Oh shit, that hit me. Oh fuck that hit me. Oh shit. We need to ban that guy. That's a little offensive guy. Holy shit. Holy crap. I'm one shot in everybody. Oh, the scary bunny. That's another upcoming video I will be reviewing later. Uploading. Oh my god, is this always a one shot? No, but I think it is with that. These people are gonna have multiple armor. So it's gonna be a one shot to anybody who doesn't have armor. Oh, wow, mythical armor, which is like 
easy for them to go for some reason. But if you're level 65, you'll probably get B match when you do all hands at the corner. So it'll be probably be like a two shot. I do want to try to get wall break kills. And this is a very nice kill. Yeah, this is a very cool one. It, it's, it's unique. I, I, I really like when they introduce new scopes. I was really excited when they, when they introduced the Cuba Rolling set. There's an, there are two new scopes. And then when you use the scope, they'll make the primer to make this sound. And it was like really cool and satisfying. Okay, well, it doesn't really make a noise when you, when you zoom in. Ah. Okay, this seems really good. And it's not coincidence to it. Oh, is it really a coincidence that I seem to have pulled up and suddenly running off? Oh, why? Oh, 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 oh. Alright. Actually, it's weird out here. I want to get wall break kills. So, to do that, I'm gonna need to hold back a bit. No, no, I want to get wild break kill. Come on. Ah, maybe next. Time. Okay, next time I'll get wild break kill. I want to try this out inside in school. Next match, this match I'll get wild break kills. Mhm. Mm Even when my x-ray runs out, if I hit them at least one, they'll be target marked. It'll be the same thing. Okay. Yeah, I'm never really so good at aiming. But I'm at aiming, like, through the walls. They're all this thing is very good, very powerful. Alright, I can see everybody. Okay, now, the, it just, the damage is reduced by 50%. But I'm gonna say it's like around 100. So that means there'll be a 2 shot. Which is still really good. There. I hit him. There, I killed him. Through the wall. Yeah, that's, that, that's not bad. Considering that the time is pretty good. And it's only a 68. It's like the 570. Wow, this is a very good cool one. Yeah, I'm starting to get this one. Never mind. I mean, like, they had to nerf it. That was, it was the best sniper ever. It was like, uh, it was like the anti champion sniper 2.0. Just, just better. This thing, this thing's really good. One of the things that makes this even better is just the fact that has a higher fire rate of 8. The fire rate is just 8. Okay, I don't think I'm. I don't think I one shot with that guy. Yeah, I didn't one shot him. Yeah, I didn't one shot him. So even though, yeah, look how much health that left him. That is very little. Yeah, I target marked him. Oh, someone else killed him. And get my X-ray on. There, kill him to the wall. 
I got target marked. Oh, there I killed two people. I killed one person. I Very good sniper. Very powerful. Usually the most powerful snipers tend to be snipers that have a fire rate of like 60. Very good sniper. Okay, now overall, I've tried all these weapons. And each one of them is really good. The let's see when you start off the season, you start off with the Usher at legendary. This was really good, so I upgraded this to mythical, and, that, and it's amazing. One shot headshot with a fire rate of 82, and then the special throwing knives, a very good melee. Now I'll soon want to upgrade this thing to mythical, also, and then lastly, you get the springy shotgun which i'll be doing a review on it and then you end things off with the elite tier weapon with the clockwork guardian this thing is really good i wa i was one shotting everybody everybody i i like this more than james warden yeah and it does have a unique scope just like this sniper what is called the cuber railgun and then the pixel rotator those both have unique scopes now overall i really recommend getting this season the only people who don't like this season are the are the dummy are the fucking stupid newcast families they, they don't like this entire season just because all the weapons have a little Pull out the lane, so that makes the all the weapons suck dick. Even though it doesn't, this is amazing. This is amazing. This I have the bunny. I have this. I have the springy shotgun. What other weapons were there? Yeah, that was it. Oh yeah, and I have the sniper. These were really good. So I don't agree with people. Yeah, this pistol pass sucks. Cause it's really not. Like look at this. A one shot headshot from here. All other backups would would be a two shot from here already. And look the fire rate on this. Like like come on guys. This is an amazing season. And I really recommend getting it. I recommend getting this whole season. And it does have cool skins like the weak world puppet. Alright, um, uh, look at the glitch. The trace van, it's supposed to be like a puppet thing up there. I'm gonna wrap up today's video. Re you should get the pixel pass, the entire pixel pass. And upgrade everything to mythical. They're all really good. Seriously, the usher man, the usher. This thing's insane. Yeah, it's a one shot headshot. A special being a one shot headshot. That is amazing. Wow, I'm gonna wrap it up for today, guys. Really, the snipe, the sniper, Clockwork Guardians, really good. It really impressed me. And it does look cool. Do get the pixel pass. Alright, bye, y'all.